Okay then. Okay, arms out guys. And we're gonna rotate. Can everybody see me okay or do you want me to put my light on? <laughs> thumbs up, thumbs up, yeah, okay, we're all right. I feel like I'm getting darker. Okay, down to the floor, straight legs. And we're just gonna soft knee, straight knee. Soft knee, straight knee. Stretch out the back of those hamstrings. But we're keeping it moving, we're not holding the position. Okay, then we're gonna put one leg in front of the other, standing tall. Straight leg at the front, toe up, bent leg at the back. Stretching the back of this front leg. And on to the other. And swapping back again. And back to the other. Okay, then we're gonna go into your leg swings. So try and keep all your core and your torso still. And we're just gonna swing that leg forward and back. So we're stretching out the hips, stretching out the hamstrings. Two in one. On to the side. Okay, then we're going to your hip openers. So we'll keep alternating them sides. Oh, she's a rumbling. And I don't mean my stomach. Okay, arms out. And swing again. Swing, swing. And side stretch over. Stretch out those sides, reach those fingertips. Other side. Arms out in front, palms to you. Pull the shoulders out, then relax them down. Pull them out, relax them down. Then going overhead, palm away, and just pull one side out at a time, reaching the palms to the ceiling. And back out in front, but now palms away. Pushing the top of those hands away from you. And just swim it out. Right then guys, let's get started. So, first one we are going to do. We have a half burpee to front squat. Let me just adjust the camera. La la la. Okay, so dumbbells. La la la. So half burpee. So down, two shoulders, and front squat. Back down, front squat. So there's no jumping. Obviously, if you want to do a step out for your burpee and step in, more than welcome. Okay? Ready? Three, two, let's go, guys. Burpee down, jumping in, dumbbells to shoulders, and squat. Beautiful. Halfway. Last fifteen seconds. Ten. One, lovely. So next one, you all get in your plank position. You do not need your dumbbells. So we're gonna do an alternating mountain climber. So knee up to the opposite elbow, then do a push up. That's it. If you need to come down for your push up, Please do. My shoulder isn't great, so I might have to. Over halfway. 
15 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Next one we have a renegade row to a bear. So if you can get your weight over your dumbbells perfectly, that's great. So we do the renegade row. And then we're going to do to a bear. So back out. So renegade row. Bear, feet in. Knees hover the floor. Obviously if you can't do this with your dumbbells, just do it without. Still working that core. Halfway. Fifteen seconds. Ten. Five, four, three, two, and one. Well done. Exercise four. So we're going to come up to our feet, or you can go on your knees. So we're going to do an upright row out to a lateral raise. Okay. Five seconds. Two, one. Keep breathing, guys. Keep those elbows high in that right row. Halfway. Fifteen seconds. Make sure you're controlling those dumbbells. It's not the gravity. Five, four, three, two, one. Well done. Then last one in this round is a back extension to Superman. So on your front, hands by your ears. So we do your back extension. Now straighten the arms. Superman down. Okay, let's go. So by your ears and straight. By your ears lift and straight arm lift. Nice pause at the top. Squeezing all those muscles on the back of your body. Ooh. Last ten seconds. Aiming to get those thighs off the floor. Three, two, and one. Ooh. Well done, guys. Take yourself a drink. That's round one done. And then we're going to repeat that. Maybe shouldn't have done it in a t-shirt and we're a bit hot already. <sighs> You've still got over 30 seconds. Feels really strange exercising with my light on. <laughs> it's not normal. I feel like people like stare in your house more when you've got your curtains open and your light right on. It's like them looking. Right, ready? Back into round one from the beginning then. So we've got your half burpee front squat. Three, two, one. You might actually be able to see me this time. Thirty seconds to go. Well done, ladies. Twenty seconds. Oh, I'm Tony. <laughs> Ten. Four. Three. Two. One. So 
Okay, no dumbbells. Oblique mountain climber and push up. Whew. Five, four, three, two, let's go. Knee to opposite elbow and then push up. Belly sucked in, bums tucked under their spines as long as they can be. Halfway, guys. Fifteen seconds. Keep breathing. Inhale the floor, blow it away. Five, four, three, two, and one. Well done. Number three was your renegade row to bear. So obviously if you can get your weight over your dumbbells without them rolling, that's perfect. If not, do it without. Three, two, one. And then stepping both in to the bare knees, hover the floor and back out to your plank. Well done guys, halfway. Five seconds, three, two, and one, well done. Now we've got your upright row, front raise, front raise, lateral raise even. Foot raise would be nicer. <laughs> Three, two, one. Oh, she's raining. Ooh, keep breathing, guys. Fifteen seconds, big breath out, in, out, in. Nearly there, five, four, three, two, and one. Lovely, and then your last one, the back extensions and your Superman extension. Whew. Need a towel. Five, four, three, Two and one. Fire the ears, lift, straight arm, lift. Well done, halfway guys. Keep squeezing all those muscles. Back of your shoulders, knee your back. You bum, your hamstrings. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Well done, guys. Minute rest. Whew. Quite grateful that I've just bought a towel in from the washing line. <laughs> Why is it so muggy? Okay, so that is your full body round done then. So next round is purely upper bod. Um, there's a mixture of stood up and laid down, but it is all with your dumbbells. These bad boys aren't getting put down. So, 15 seconds and we'll start stood up. Ah, 10 seconds. <clears throat> so, we've got a lint over row with a hammer curl press. Let's go. So, row, 
stand tall and a curl press. I literally can't get in the frame anymore. <laughs> but you all know what I'm doing, you're all experts. So working that back, make sure it's neutral, shoulders are back. And then working the shoulders in that press. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. So next one we have, you are going to be on your back. If you want a pillow under the top of your shoulders, the top of your back, you're more than welcome to. So we're gonna do chest flies. So your palms are in for this one. And we're gonna slowly come down and then squeeze back together a bit more quicker. Okay, let's go. Wanna feel that stretch in your chest and then pull that back together. Obviously, if you are elevated a bit more, you will feel it a bit more because you'll have a bit more range. Big breath in when you're coming down. Big breath out when you're bringing those dumbbells back overhead. Five, four, three, two, and one. Lovely. So make sure you've got room overhead for this next one. So we're going to do a dumb, alternating dumbbell pullover. So one arm is going to stay overhead all the time. Palms are in again as with your chest flies. We're going to drop one slowly. So it's just hovering the floor and pull it back. Okay, let's go. So you want to feel that stretch. And keep it nice and slow and controlled. Try and keep that lower back down on the floor as well. Core is engaged. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Lovely. Next one we have is a single, single, double length over row. So we're back to standing again. So as it is, so single, single, double, okay? And you're gonna keep that going. Let's go. Make sure them shoulders are pinned back so we don't get any pull in the lower back. We never drop the dumbbells that far that it pulls the shoulders with them. Halfway. Fifteen seconds. Squeeze those shoulder blades all the time. Five, four, three, two, and one. Lovely. And the last one in this round is a alternating hammer press with a side step. So I think we did them in hit a couple of weeks back where we step press. Okay, three. Two and one. So just get them legs back in on the action. But we're just killing off those shoulders. I can strangely press overhead fine, but holding anything out, no. Halfway. Fifteen seconds. Keep breathing. Burning them shoulders out. Keep it going. Five, four, three, two, one. Well done, guys. End of that round. Minute rest. Are we all good? Upper body on fire. <laughs> oh, my lats hurt. Okay, so in 
40 seconds. We will repeat all of that again. And you all know what you're doing now. 30 seconds. Right, 15 seconds. So back into that lent over row and overhead hammer press. Five, four, three, two, one. Well done, guys. Keep it controlled. When we're coming down from that hammer press, we want to feel the stretch in the bicep as well. Here. Rowing in the direction of our thighs. Fifteen seconds. Ten. Five, four, three, two. And one more done. On to your back, sweet chest flies. If you want to prop yourself up this time and didn't last time, go for it. Three, two, and one. Slowly coming down and squeeze back together. Do not lock those elbows out. We don't want straight arms. Nice, soft elbows. Squeezing those shoulder blades together at the back and squeezing the chest together. Last 10 seconds, guys. Three, two, and one. Lovely. Okay, make sure you've got room overhead. Alternating pullovers. So keep one arm above your head. <laughs> Three, two, and one. Keep that palm in. Slowly lower till you feel that stretch and pull back. So don't go in any uncomfortable range. Just keep it where you find comfortable. Pull it back. Lower back glue to the floor. Normally easier if you do have your knees up. So you're just tilting those hips back a little bit. 15 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Well done guys, up to your feet, single, single, double row. So keep that neutral spine the whole time. Shoulders pinned back, not uh, ready. Go. Single, single, double. Thirty seconds. Halfway. Fifteen seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Well done. Last one. Hammer curl. Press with your step jack. Little aerobic style. Five, four, three, two, let's go. Boom, boom, boom. Well done, guys. Keep stepping. 
Keep pressing. Over halfway. Nearly there. 10 seconds to go. Give it some power. Five, four, three, two, and one. Well done. Round two done, guys. Rest, drink, sweat towel. <laughs> and then we've got the core round, which we'll be on the floor for the whole time. You'll be happy to know. So you will still need uh, one dumbbell, you don't need two. So um, first one we're going to do is a seated hip flexor lift. So you're going to have your dumbbell in between your legs, I would say just a little bit further away than your knee, should be fine. Uh, you're going to have your hands behind you and you're going to lift up and over this dumbbell, okay? So together, together, okay? And you'll just try and keep your legs as straight as you can. Okay, go. Lift, oh yeah, and try not to hit the dumbbell. <laughs> That's like the aim of the game. How could I miss that vital information? You obviously want to try and stay as seated tall as you possibly can as well. The more leg back you are. <laughs> the easier it is. So you need to sit up as straight as you can. Didn't know there was so much thought going into a seated leg lift, did you? Five, four, three, two, and one. Well done. Sit so onto your backs now. Grab your dumbbell and we're going to do a bent knee crunch. So I hold my dumbbell lengthways for this one. Knees at a 90 degree angle, arms are straight. Let's go, and we're aiming for the feet. Lifting those shoulder blades off the floor. Big breath out when you're reaching for those toes. Big breath in as you're coming back down. Halfway. Try not to bring your, knee, your knees too close to you. We can want to come to your chest. Try and keep that 90 degree bend and rest. Number two, we've got your Russian twists. So seated, upright. Heels on the floor, unless you feel comfortable to lift them off. Lean back as much as you can. And elbows are coming behind you, and you want to look and follow that path round with your head. So we're getting a good rotational twist. Can make you feel a bit sick as well. But <laughs> Halfway. Well done, keep it going. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Lovely. Number four, we're going to go to plank position, no dumbbell. So you can do this from your knees if you can't. Do it from your feet, so we're going to tap the opposite toe. So tap, tap, and then one, two, mountain climb. Tap, tap, one, two, mountain climbers. Okay? Well done. Halfway, guys. Ten seconds. Tap 
those toes. Mountain climb. Three, two, and one. Well done. And then the last one in this round is a leg lower and pulse. So on your back, if your dumbbell is light enough for you to put it in your feet, you can do it. That's fine. So we're going to lay on the back, hands under the hips. We're going to lower down. When we get as far as we can without our hips going forward, we're going to pulse the two back up. Okay, let's go. Just make sure those lower backs stay down. When they lift, stop the legs, bring them back. Well done. Last 10. Three, two, and one. Well done. Drink. Stretch any core muscles out that need stretching. We've got one more round of that to go. And then we have the finisher. I wish I had sound effects for when I say that. The finisher. <laughs> That'd be so awesome. Oh. Okay, so we're back to those horrible seated hip flexor lifts when we're ready, guys. Twenty seconds. Okay, dumbbells in position, just below the knees, legs wide, hands behind, three, two, one. Stick that chest out if we can. Legs straight. Beautiful. Halfway, guys. Hope you're all feeling that in those hips. Ooh. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, knee crunch, 90 degree bend at the hip and the knee. Ooh. Five, four, three, two, and reach. Manage that breathing. Getting those shoulder blades off the floor as much as you can. Last 15 seconds. Pause at the top. Makes it a little bit harder. Three, two, and one. Lovely, coming off your Russian twist. Same as before, heels down if you feel you can get more rotation in that way. Three, two, and one. Aiming to get those elbows behind you. Keeping those shoulders back the whole time as well. We're not rounding our shoulders, chest out. Halfway. <laughs> Nearly there, 10 seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, and one. Say goodbye to the dumbbell for now. Plank. So tapping those opposite 
toes, and then the two mountain climbers. Three, two, one. Again, if you want to do it from your knees, you can. Halfway already. Keep breathing. Last ten seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Well done. Onto your backs for the last one. Leg lowers with your two pulses at the bottom before those hips and the lower back lift. Three, two, and one. Legs as straight as we can. Obviously, if your lower back does hurt, add a bend to your knee. It will make it a little bit easier for you. Just feel that stretch at the bottom when we're fully extended. Pull it back using that core. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Well done, guys. Have a good rest. Finish it on the way. Whew. Whew. Okay. So as I said, your finisher will be six minutes. So, and it's Emon style. So for that first minute, we have to do 30 kettlebell swings. The rest of that minute is your rest time. On the even minutes, we're going to do a full chest to floor burpee. If you can't do the chest to floor, just do a normal half burpee, that's fine. You only have to do 10 of them though. And then obviously again, the rest of that minute is your rest period. So, <laughs> kettlebell swings on the odd numbers, chest to floor burpees on the evens, okay? We have 15 seconds and then torture begins. So like I said, if you want to use a kettlebell for the swings, you can, or use your dumbbell, whatever you need. Five, four, three, two, and one, so 30. Count your own if you want to, because I imagine we will all go at different paces. Squeeze the glutes together at the top. You want to be feeling this down the back of those legs. Getting that heart rate back up. Core seems to lower my heart rate a little bit. And rest. So I've still got 12 seconds. Use those 12 seconds. And then you've got your burpee. So 10 of them to do. Three, two, one, let's go. You don't need to jump at the top, just come back up and down. No impact. I think I'm on six. <laughs> they always forget to count. <laughs> I always rely on a timer. One more for good luck. 20 seconds left, guys, if you've not finished. Plenty of time. Ten. 
10 seconds and back into those swings. Five, four, three, two, go. Try and get in a rhythm with your breathing on this one. Well done guys, you've still got 15 seconds. 10. Three, two, back into those burpees. Keep it as low impact as possible. I'll make sure I count mine properly this time. Swear I did an extra one last time. One to go for me. Ooh, 20 seconds rest. One more round. One more of each. Should I say? Five, four, three, two, let's go. Last 30 swings. Still got 30 seconds. Woo. Still got 15 seconds. Last exercise to go. Woo. Five, four, three, two, last one guys. Give it that last bit of energy you got. Nearly there. Still got 30 seconds. Mm -hmm. Oh dear me. I'll let you go till the time runs out. <laughs> Three, two, and we are done.